Why do we make our kids feel like adults? For our youth teams, the, the aim very much is we want to keep these kids in football. We're trying to buck the trend of, old, of older teenagers dropping out of football. We want to prepare them as youth so they've got the best skills and techniques so that they're, they're successful. And they become adults, they'll stay in the game and have another 20, 30 years of playing football. Well, the formats of games are changing because I think it's going to be more relevant to the player development. So smaller sizes, pitches, smaller numbers of players. So rather than kids playing on 11 side pitches, which they can't manage, we're going to put them in an area like 30 by 40, 50 by 40, 60 by 40. And obviously they're going to play in spaces that are good for their development. It's great because it gives the child a sense of space because spatial awareness is something that you need to have on a football pitch. And if you're a little size, a nine year old on an 11 v 11 adult pitch, you know, the space is just ridiculous. You don't know where you're supposed to be. If you put a small child on a large area, they often feel a little bit lost, so they don't know where to run, they don't know where to move. By reducing the size of the pitches, by reducing the size of the balls, it, it gives the child a, a kind of sense of achievement. Rather than going to the adult game straight away, they're learning the game in a progressive way right from being a younger end. So, we can, for instance, at under sixes, we, we, we like to get them uh, to express themselves. Um, they don't get chastised when they get things wrong. Because younger children at the small can't necessarily do one end of the pitch to the other, but now with the smaller pitches, there's actually more time, more running with the ball, and you can see their core skills developing. So you don't want to see a uh, so we say the 11 year old in a goal, uh, which is the same size that someone like Peter Cech or Joe Hart might be in, because they just don't stand a chance. And if they, if they can't save it because the goal's too good, they're not going to enjoy it. Kids are not standing about, they're moving, they're involved with the, everything that they do most of the time. We say to the child, we're going to empower you, we're going to give you choices. What do you think about this game? Where are we playing here? Could we organise it? So it's empowering children to make decisions, and that's what the game's about. With the smaller groups as well, that his confidence is much better and that the experience is more fun. I think it's much more inclusive. Um, I can see it as the kids develop, they're, they're less concerned about running around chasing the ball. Uh, they're using the ball more intelligently and they tend to, to stick with the club and stick with football. Well, anything less than nine or, you know, more like eight or seven, six and five aside gives them more touches on the ball. They're more involved in the game. The games are faster. I think the children enjoy it more and they're not left out on the side. We did, we did have a couple of children that were shy. They're not as confident um, and I think that's largely because they disappeared within the seven aside game. With the five aside game, in essence, there is nowhere to hide. And actually, there's children that are now relishing it that perhaps didn't shine before. Last year, in some of the bigger games, Jack was brand new to it. And although he still really loved it and loved the team environment, he often he didn't get involved that much. Uh, and lots of, you know, it was the very it was the talented players that got all the way. So I think this is more positive certainly at this early age. It, it gives them uh, an experience which is better than trying to fit an adult's game into a kid's game. I think kids take on anything as long as they're enjoying it. If they're enjoying it, they'll, they'll listen to you, they'll take it on board, no problem. Kids football's changing. Kids football's changing. Find out how to play your part at thefa.com forward slash kids football.